Yo everyone, it's One Dragon back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video, and today what we're going to test is the Gorilla Gloves. And we're also going to test combining them with the new stacking modifications to see how OP can we actually get. So we're going to do two different tests. The first thing we're going to test is testing it on regular enemies, and then after that we're going to test it on one of the Beat on the Brat fights as well. So just to show what I have on my build so far, uh, I'm using a build that doesn't have any invested points into Street Brawler. So this I think is one of the best ways to test how strong the Gorilla Gloves are combined with the modifications. And I only have six body because I mainly use them for to have enough body for the sniper rifle. I invested in 20 reflexes for the base critical damage, and I'll show you guys my stats now. So just with the stats, we've got 56% crit chance and 146% crit damage on base. A lot of this comes from just the attributes that I've selected, as well as these intelligence cyberware that I have on the frontal cortex. But let's go ahead and test the damage now. Okay, let's test the damage here. I'll take There we go. So it took quite a few hits to take them down, and sometimes I didn't get crits. This was just sort of part of the build that you had to deal with before. But now since you can stack crit chance mods, you can get 100% crit chance on your Gorilla Gloves. Okay, now we're going to test on the twins. Show me what you got. Okay, so that was the twin fight. A lot of them died from bleeding, but you can you see that. Had enough like your brother, or hungry for more? <laughs> I don't know why the dialogue continues while we're in the menu now, but you can see that the gorilla gloves with the twenty percent increase is pretty nice. But now we're going to add a whole bunch of clothing modifications to it to increase our base stats and see how that goes. Okay, we're back now and we've fully kitted out a whole bunch of armor. We put in... I don't know why it bugs sometimes. I can't see it. But we put in a whole bunch of bully mods and three Fortuna mods there. So we have 17 bully mods and three Fortuna mods. If we look at our stats, it's 92% crit chance and 656 crit damage and then on the cyberware the gorilla gloves themselves I have an, um, another 10% crit damage here and bleeding internal bleeding as well I've even changed my cyber deck to have the sand of Vistan. Now I didn't put any mods on there but you can definitely modify it for even more damage and we'll just see how we go So there you go. You can see that I pretty much like one punch everything. Uh, if I do a quick jab, it doesn't one punch everything, but if I like charge it, then it will definitely one punch and do significantly more damage. Okay. And we'll also now test it on the twins too. Show me what you got. Wait for the Dandavistan to time out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. Hey, sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out? I felt like I was fighting against four left hands. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, I had to rub it in. There we go. We literally one punch the twins there. So you can see that, you know, stacking all these crit mods and the new Gorilla Gloves make for a really OP build. I actually think it's time to go make a one punch character and roleplay one punch man. Time to make Saitama. So just some quick notes. The footage you saw was on very hard and about the build. Obviously since you're playing a brawler you can sub out some of the bully mods which sometimes don't show up for some reason with armadillo mods if you'd prefer a more defensive style build. Just remember that the most important thing is to have 100% crit chance and very high crit damage. One other point is that you can also opt to use consumables and like invest into the street brawler tree for quality of life and just defensive and damage stats as well. Ultimately I recommend that you customize the build and just see what level of survivability that you're happy to play with. The experiment that we did today is not even fully min-maxed yet so you can take the damage to much crazier heights if you feel like doing so. This has been One Dragon. If you found this useful, please let me know. But as you can see from the clothing mod stack ability now, it's very easy to get 100% crit on brawling and melee builds. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you'd like to check out more cyberpunk videos, consider subscribing and check out the channel. See you later, chooms.